The assisted dying debate has generally focused on whether or not people with a terminal or life-limiting condition have the right to request help to die from their physician. However, older people without a diagnosable life-limiting condition, but who may wish to die because of accumulated age-related losses, may also want lawful assistance to die. The stated motivation of these people is that they feel that they have completed their life or that they are tired of life. In this article, I make the point that it's essential that we consider the process of ageing and the process of dying together, rather than creating an artificial separation in order to support a mantra of successful ageing. Whilst we shouldn't underestimate people's potential vulnerabilities or the extent to which de depression can go undiagnosed, we also shouldn't rush to pathologise people in deep old age who have an unwavering wish for death. Often the real tragedy is not death itself, but the way in which we die in hospitals subject to extraordinary life-extending measures or in a care home without the requisite pain relief or potentially subject to abuse or neglect. For many people, it's important that the way in which they die corresponds to the embodied values by which they've lived their lives.